more truths than the words we say The games we play Can we know that we're not dreaming? No viewers, your eyes did not deceive you. What you saw was Hatterene using mystical fire when it otherwise should not be able to use it. In other words, it should be illegal, but it is not illegal. Why do I say that? Simple. Because as of Generation 9, mystical fire as a TM or TR does not exist. So it is impossible for any Pokemon to learn it outside of breeding or learning it naturally. Of which Hatterene does not. Now, you may be asking, alright then, so breed Hatterene and have it learn Mystical Fire that way. Problem. Hatterene is in the Fairy Egg group, and none of the available Fairy Pokemon can learn Mystical Fire based on my research. So then, you're probably asking, okay, then what sorcery did you do to get this move onto the Pokemon? If you can't give it a TR or TM in Generation 9, and you can't breed the move onto it at this time, did you do some hacking shenanigans to get this move? Nope, I did none of that. I just used a mechanic that was first introduced into Generation 8 Sword and Shield to teach egg moves onto a Pokemon without the need to breed. Now, for this example, I'm going to use my Alolan Ninetales and the move Freeze Dry. As you can see on screen, one of my Alolan Ninetales does not learn the move, does not know the move Freeze Dry. But the other one does. So once again, this one here knows the move freeze dry, but the other one does not. Now, this mechanic required you to le go to a breeder, have two of mons of the same species, of which Alolan Ninetales is, and then just, you know, chuck them in there. Just, yeah, just chuck them in there for a bit. With one mon missing a move slot, and the other mon with the desired egg move you wanted to teach. You put them into the daycare center for a few minutes, run around, and then after a while, one teaches the other the move, and boom, you're done. That's pretty much it. And now you can see here, as I showed you before, one Pokemon learned the move naturally as an egg move, but the other one didn't learn. I got rid of Dazzling Gleam on my shiny Ninetales here, and because she sat in the daycare with another Pokemon of the same species that had the egg move she wanted, she learned the egg move as well. But... There's a problem with that in this generation. There are no daycare centers, and Hatterenes don't learn Mystical Fire, so how do we get the Mystical Fire onto the Hatterene? If the Hatterene does not know Mystical Fire, how can we get the, hat the Hatterene with Mystical Fire? Well, in Gen 9, they adjusted the way this mechanic works. Now it uses the Picnic to do this instead. And the best part is, you don't need two Pokemon of the same species or even the same egg group to teach a Pokemon an egg move. All you need to do is perform three steps to get any egg move you want onto a Pokemon. First, we're going to need an item. The item you're going to be looking for is the Mirror Herb. You can find this item in the Delibird Presence down at Karakafa. Second, you're going to need to have a Pokemon that you wish to teach a desired egg missing a move slot. So you're going to need to delete a move from its four move kit. So we're going to do that. We're going to uh, get rid of Trick Room just for the uh, just for demonstration purposes. Now, keep in mind, Trick Room is a TM move. It's a TR move. Hatterene does not learn Trick Room naturally. Third and lastly, you're going to need a Pokemon with the desired egg move you want your Pokemon to learn, and it has to know this move in its four move pool. Fortunately, I happen to have one. For this experiment, I decided to ask my other hat-themed Pokemon, my Miss Magius, who just so happens to know the move Mystical's Fire and learns it naturally. With all that done, we just need to equip our egg move learning Pokemon with the mirror move item, or with the mirror herb item. 
All right, Hatterene now has the has everything set up. With that, all we need to do is just set up a picnic. That's it. This is all you need to do. You don't need to make any sandwiches. You don't need to really do anything. Just have them sit in the picnic for a few seconds. I, I actually think it's instantaneous. But there's, it's no, there's no harm in just having them chit-chat for a few seconds. But once you're done, you end the picnic. And if you've done everything correct, if you check, there you go. Mystical Fire Hatterene. And I did not need to do any breeding involved. Did not need to go through any breeding. Did not have to go through any complicated mechanics, etc. I just slapped. I just had two Pokemon that need. I just had the two Pokemon I needed. I got the item I needed. Threw them together into the picnic. Waited a few seconds, and bam! Mystical Fire Hatterene is done. Now there is a flaw to this. The Pokemon that learns the egg move this way will not retain knowledge of it, like say if they learned it via TM or TR. Or if it was passed, or if it was, you know, passed down naturally, such as through breeding. As you can see here, Trick Room is available to be relearned. But that was because it was a TR move. But if I were to get rid of the Mystical Fire now, and I were to try to relearn it, you will see that Mystical Fire is no longer available. I cannot, I cannot use Mystical Fire again if I get rid of Mystical, if I get rid of the Mystical Fire this way. So there are, there is a flaw with this mechanic. But if you are willing to accept this small restriction, then this will allow you to use competitive Pokemon you already have repaired and give them egg moves that they might need or could use for competitive battling without the need to breed new team members. And it will also save you a ton of time from having to train them up, hyper train them, EV train them with vitamin boosts, use multiple EXP candies to get them leveled up. All of that work gets, gets cut down with just a few minutes of doing this. Now, I really hope I really hope this helps you out. I really do hope this helps you out. Not a lot of people know this mechanic exists. And not a, people, a lot of people are making use of this. It will save you a ton of time. Hopefully it does help you and I hope you share it around, share this video around, comment, like, you know, all that, all that jazz. I'll be working on a first time competitive trainer's guide to building a competitive team video in the future. So hopefully you stay tuned. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye! When you've reached the point where you can't go on, just come to me, you'll be safe from harm. If you trust in me, then I'll trust in you. There's nothing more that I need to do. If you put your hands in front of mine, we'll be shining through one at a time. Just understand you.